speeding up half the saloon like that? Keep your opinions to yourself. Or you're next, okay? Don't fellers like you ever get bored of pushing folk around? Get your head out of your ass. Your friend had worse coming. I let him off easy. Leave me alone. Back off. Someone help. I'm gonna get the oh! Welcome. No more nonsense from you. Here's the catalog. I ain't gonna stay patient forever. Get down to business. I got things to tend to, so get on with it. I ain't gonna stay patient forever. Get down to business. I got things to tend to, so get on with it. No, no, no! I think you better open up that register. Don't kill me! I'll empty the register for you. Don't do anything! Stealing from the hard-working, good job. I'm real Valentine sorry about is this. So shit. Welcome. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Hello. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving.
Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. Wait, wait! You can't be there! Come on! Don't worry about it. Now, now. This is a robbery. Open the register. Now. I ain't gonna let you... Pleasant evening to you. If I ain't mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Well, it looks like trouble, all right. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. Starts to taste the same, doesn't it? I know. Pearson has an unusual talent for removing all flavor. Hi there. How are things? John? Hey, John. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here, what they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. Always good to see. partner come take a look at this look at this my friend tobacco 
Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Whoa, I'm not looking for trouble, friend. No! You think you're so great. Strutting around. Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? A sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Holding hands with that dog. Come on, kid. You expect to win this girl with all your belly aching? Be a man, son. Hey, I'm plenty man, thank you very much. You ain't so much as a loaf of wet bread. What? Well, well, forget you, mister. In the newspaper. They're saying you're a black widow. Why am I nothing of the cat? That there's a bounty hunter. Get him! Ellen, I'm sorry, but I. Oh. That dumb little boy. You are a piece of work. Now, come here. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. This is uh, very kind of you. <laughs> Don't you manhandle me. <laughs> ah. 
Let's go, boy. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Oh, dear. What came over me? Did I... Did I just do the... Be quiet with that. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever... This the help you're looking for? Such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? Put me on the straight and narrow? I ain't falling for it. I hate you, you sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut. That's more like it. Hush. Coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. Hey, I'm afraid here. I ain't. ain't nothing to be done by that. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feller out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women. I'm sure she can find herself a husband yet. Yeah, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. Hey, what's gotten into your head? Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. 
You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Boy. Easy. Yep. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Micah. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a couple. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. Here What's we are. This? You want one? Good boy. Just one or two, right, Alpha? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike. A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullard. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. 
But me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Hey, you see my friend anywhere? I don't know, sorry. You know which way my friend went? Wouldn't know. You seen that fella I was with? Sorry. Hey, Lenny! What are you doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. You know what? I don't know. <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, why ain't you never met? Don't have me. That's the thing, you see, because it. Lenny? Lenny! Get away from me! Yeah. That ass! Slippery little right. shit, ain't you? Lenny, where are you at? Lenny! Get down from there! Where are you in here, Lenny? Hey! You see my friend? I don't know, I don't know. I lost my friend! You see where he went? Don't ask me. Damn animals! Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah. Shut your mouth, mister.
You alive? Arthur! Uh, you alive, Arthur? Uh, I want to die. Where are we? What did we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. <sighs> yeah. You pair degenerates. <sighs> There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either you around here no more. Oh, Jesus. So, that was a quiet drink? First one was pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. Oh. Oh. That all got a little messy, huh? I reckon it's best if we just put it behind. Good morning, Arthur. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Uh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I, I won't lie. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course. Is there somewhere we can take her? I don't think she has anyone. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. It's the least we can do. 
All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Arthur. Mr. Morgan, can I ask you a favor, if, if it's convenient, I mean? Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Seasoning? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> okay. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Found some cash in that O'Driscoll cabin, but not much else. A shotgun. And no coal? You did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mound up, then. Let's go. Okay, boy. Let's go. You know... It was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people... Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger... The bird's over here. I just wanted to see what attracted him. Yep. <laughs> Look, 
bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. Think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Dead bison. It has to be them. Come on. Wait up. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said. Did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us you're dead. They make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please, don't kill me. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. <laughs>